Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or if this is the first time clicking on one of these videos, then welcome. So we are doing our first wash update. It's basically been, I'm gonna call it a two week update. I meant to normally do this at one week, but got a bit busy last week, didn't get a chance to film this. So we have our five spray on rinse off sealants um, that we'll show in a second that are on this test panel. Now normally I do the first wash after one week. Instead it's two weeks like I said, but this has been sitting outside for two weeks. It's a little bit dirty um, in that time, bit of rain and some really hot days actually here in Queensland. So these are the five products that we have. Uh, so first off we have CarPro's Hydro 2. Um, I dil diluted this one to six to apply onto the panel. Then we have Merch Hydra. Then Bowden's own Green Dreams. Uh, you can pick up Wet Dreams, which is the orange version of this. I just have this Green Dreams version if you didn't watch the first videos. Um, and that's, that's what we've got. But it's the same thing you can pick up in the retailers, basically. Um, next up we have Platinum Potions Body Coat. And last is Gion Wet Coat. So like I said, they were all applied. Um, so this video, Start off by giving it a little rinse, see how they're looking before we do our first wash. Okay. Not looking quite right to me. The CarPro is not looking good. Um, don't know what's happened there. And same with the Gion. The CarPro, I will admit, is an older bottle, um, but I have been using it and on my car, which is ceramic coated the whole time and didn't really think there was anything wrong with it. Um, even the Bowdens didn't look as expected there. But let's, let's give it a wash. We've got some um, Car Pro reset in the wash bucket. See if this will help things out. Okay, so we have washed the panel. Let's go ahead and rinse that off. Just change my hose pattern here because I'm really soaking the garage. All right, so what I want to do now is get the other camera in and it's going to try and flood each section. So there is the car pro. And hopefully you guys can see that. Got a bit of light shining onto it. But yeah, it's easily able to be flooded and it's slowly sheeting. Now it is unfortunate that I missed the first week because you know these, normally I do these on waxes and sealants. Um, those you expect to last ages. These I'm really only wanting like a few washes out of them um, because they are just sort of top up products for the waxes and sealants generally. Um, some of them will make good base protection, but yeah. Um, next up we have the Merch and that is still extremely hydrophobic. Looking really good. So you can see we aren't able to flood that. That water is sheeting off very quick. Next up is the Bowdens, and I'm not going to lie, the Bowdens, I don't think something's gone right with the application. Um, I have started this test before, like when I first started the channel, and I had CarPro, Bowdens, and 303, and yeah, the Bowdens looked a lot more hydrophobic than this, so being the fact that after one wash and yeah, two and a bit weeks, we're able to flood that, that's definitely not looking right, so... Yeah, I think I have stuffed up when I applied. Um, 
you see how that's not looking right for me. I know that that, I haven't used the green dreams before, but I know wet dreams, the orange bottle, I had far better results when I did this, started this test previously. The only reason I stopped it is because I was doing it on a white panel and you just couldn't see the hydrophobics. But yeah, it's, that's not looking right to me. So I'm not gonna go and start this whole series again for a third time. I'm just gonna have to note that, that, yeah, I know it is what it is. I'm showing what it's doing. And just the fact that I have used this product previously on an uncoated car many times, um, but yeah, on an uncoated car and it looked a lot better than that. So I don't know what's happened. I've definitely stuffed something up there. Um, maybe because I didn't use the pressure washer to rinse it down. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. Next up is the Platinum Potions. Also looking extremely hydrophobic, not able to flood that one. Yeah, it is, I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit annoyed that I've, something's gone wrong with the ovens. Cause it's not showing the product's true performance in my mind. Um, same with the Car Pro to be honest, maybe because that bottle was a bit older or maybe it's just that I've only ever really used the Car Pro on top of my coating, which is kind of what I think it's more for. Um, but it's looking pretty similar to what Car Pro uh, Reload does, which isn't that great. And next up, the Geon. Geon's looking pretty similar to the Car Pro and the Bowdens. Um, yeah. They all started off well, but after two weeks, they're kind of not looking the best. So yeah, I don't, I don't want to scrap this whole series. I've started it. I've spent a good amount of money doing it. I've spent many hours applying these products twice now. The first time I did it with no audio on the microphone. So yeah, I'm just going to have, have to keep this going, but just leave a note in that Seems like some of these products haven't gone right. I don't know. Well, let me know if you guys have had similar or different results. But yeah, I am. I'm kicking myself here. Um, so really, it's down to which is looking the best. Like, Bowden's is clearly looking third. I'd say the Carpro and Geon, like, pretty similar. Um, but between the Merch and the Platinum Potions. Both very impressive. Too hard to call at this point. So both of those are looking good. I just don't know why those have gone so well and the others haven't, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about it, stop dwelling about it. Just know that this one's probably gonna be a short, um, this series because yeah, something's definitely happened. Um, let's dry this off and we will do a bit of a bead test. All right guys, it's gonna mist over. I have dried the panel. Now I just wanna mist over, check the beading for the five products. So, let's swap cameras over. And we'll come in nice and close. Oop. Sorry, I'm gonna drop my other camera. Um, so, here's the car pro, you can't really see the text where I've written, but it's beating up nicely in some areas, not so nice in others. So here, clearly a bit of a breakdown, um, but yeah, still beating up. It's still clearly doing its job, but just not as good as what I expected. Um, next up, this is the merch section. Yeah, I don't think you can see that writing at all. Definitely need to get a different pen. Um, but yeah, the merch, nice beading. Extremely hydrophobic, tight beads there. So yeah, that's looking good. Next up is the Bowdens. I'll stop trying to show the text. Um, so the Bowdens, so here we got more. Just, I, I did say last video, I was gonna get a new um, hose gun, um, I didn't. So the way that this one sprays, it's kind of all comes out in the middle. So yeah, more water has landed in this section, to be honest. Um, but you can see it's still clearly like, here's the tape line there. 
here's the product. So you can see we've got more water, bigger beads in this section, and still beading a lot better than that tape line section there. But they're not the perfect round beads that we expect and that I have had previously. I'm actually gonna go back and watch the other video I did. I did leave it up on the channel um, and I'm sure, I think it went for three weeks. And I think it looked better than this after three weeks. So yeah, not going to judge these products as harshly as I normally do because I think something's gone wrong in the application. Um, I'm going to judge the performance of the ones that are working well, I guess, but I'm just going to skip over. I just don't want to start this test again. So yeah, next up is the Platinum Potions. It's looking really good, extremely hydrophobic. And this section, I've got to say before I started washing, still can see this square. The paint is a lot darker. It's definitely looking good. Um, both paint like darkness looks and hydrophobics. And then last up is the Geon. Geon's looking pretty good as well, but yeah, the sections like with the Carpro and the Bowdens that just aren't as nice tight round beads as others. So, I mean, yep. Yeah. That's all of the sections. Let's just grab the hose again and I'm just going to hold the misting on. You can see this crazy pattern we get from this hose. It's meant to be just a mist function, but it's not. Um, but yeah, so you can see this G on. Not looking as good as we expect. Um, this Platinum Potions, yeah, you can see a clear difference there. That it's so hydrophobic. So, and the Bowdens. Kind of in the middle. The Merch. Extremely hydrophobic. And the Car Pro. Also, not so much. So, I mean, yeah. Bowdens. The Car Pro. The garden's just looking out a little bit better, but it should be looking better. But for what we can see, this Platinum Potions and this Merch, very, very nice. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments um, what you think here. Do I just continue as on and just sort of mention, I just, what I, like I say, what I try and do with this channel I'm just showing my experiences with products. Um, the only reason it's different this time because two of these products I have used previously and had better results from. Most of the products I'm using, it's for a first time. So if I'm not getting great results, I usually ask people in the comments, hey, what have your results been? And I don't think I've really had other than one or two. Mainly, I think the main one I've had people say they had different results was um, Bead Machine when I first started the channel, my first videos. Sorry, uh, bead maker, PNS bead maker. People telling me they had like six and nine months out of it when I couldn't even get a wash. So that one is the only time where I've sort of been like, yeah, surely that car you had ceramic coated and you're putting it on top. But every other time I've had the results, like I know some, some standout, not great results I've had have been like such as Ethos Resist, I think it was called, the graphene one. Didn't get good results at all. The 303 graphene and then people 50-50 in the comments for the ethos. Some people had really good results, some people didn't. The 303 people said, yeah, it's not that hydrophobic. So I usually try and ask you guys. The only reason I'm sort of more saying I think things have gone wrong this time is because I have used the Bowdens and I have used the Car Pro. Car Pro mostly on ceramic coatings, but I have used it occasionally on the car that isn't ceramic coated. Um, the Bowdens are, I use a lot on non-coated cars and I know I've had better results. So yeah, I don't know what I should do here. Um, whether I keep it going, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I know that we Platinum Potions and Merch are looking really good. Um, but the other three, I don't know if that's how they should be. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm gonna end the video there. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. Um, not just for videos like this, but for any other detailing, product reviews, stuff like that. But yeah, with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.